Hey guys, welcome to another Mr. Mutech video. Today I'm going to show you how to stop the Weather Channel app from freezing on your iPhone. You may have noticed that lately while you're using the Weather Channel app, some of the videos may not play or the app just starts freezing up and you cannot scroll or do anything with it. So there's a couple different things that you can do. We're gonna start with the simple ones and then we're gonna advance on to the other options that are available. So the first thing that you wanna do if you have access to it is go ahead and go to your profile on the Weather Channel app. And once you tap on your profile, you're going to go down to Video Autoplay. And once you go to that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that Autoplay Breaking News and Autoplay Videos are set to off or unchecked. This could be because you have an issue with your Wi-Fi connection and the Wi-Fi connection could be causing intermittent display with that. Another thing that you can go ahead and do, and we're gonna go ahead and do that right now, is to turn off our Wi-Fi. It's possible, once again, like we said, that the Wi-Fi is just not having a good connection. So we'll go ahead and turn that off and see if that corrects it if we're using our mobile data. And if this is still not working for you and you're still having issues, then the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is get out of this and go ahead and go to our settings. So we'll go ahead and go to settings here. And then we're gonna scroll down until we get to general and once we get to general, then we're going to go to iPhone storage. Once we get to iPhone storage, we're going to wait for that to load. And we're going to just scroll down here until we get to the Weather Channel app. And once we get to the Weather Channel app, we'll go ahead and tap on that. And then you're going to see an option to offload app. This is going to help you to uh, get rid of any data or anything that might be glitching with the app. Go ahead and press the offload app. You're going to get a prompt here that says that we'll delete the app but we'll keep its documents and data and you want to go ahead and offload the app there. Once you do that you're still going to have the app available it's just going to clear the cache and anything else that might have been using up heavy data. This is going to reset the app in a sense so that you can go ahead and test and make sure that there's no connectivity issues so hopefully this is helpful for you guys. If so feel free to throw a like at this video and have a great day. Take care, everyone.